right, Tibbity Top Tier Tuesday, guys. I hope you're having a great day so far. Since it is a Tuesday, that means I'm going to be sharing a tip with you guys. And this week, we're going to be talking about taking action photos. So if you're at a soccer game, a basketball game, any kind of game where there's a lot of movement going on, I'm going to share a couple tips to help you get some saucy images out of it. Before we do any of that, though, check out this kickflip. <laughs> That's a good clip. So in the five years that I've been a professional photographer, I've done quite a bit of sports photography. And probably the place where I learned the most was working with Sporting Kansas City, Kansas City's professional soccer team. I spent three months working with them. And in that three months, I learned a lot from simply going to their practices, going to the games, making mistakes. So I just want to share what I learned with you guys and share the three most helpful tip that will hopefully help you go to sporting events and take better images. Let's go ahead and jump right into the few tips that I have for you guys if you're going to be shooting action sports. Tip number one, bump up your shutter speed. I used to have this problem when I first began photographing soccer. I would have my shutter speed at 120, 20, oh, it's so cold in my mouth, I can't even talk, it's so cold. I would have my shutter speed at 125th of a second. You know, when I would take those photos into the computer, I found that a lot of my images were blurry. They were blurry just because these guys are moving their arms so fast, they're kicking the ball so fast. I mean, they're professionals. <laughs> so, one thing I try to make sure whenever I'm shooting action sports is I try to make sure my shutter speed is at least at 1 500th of a second. And usually that is able to capture the motion and create a sharp image. And if you have enough light, try to go above 1 1,000th of a second. And that's, that's where you're gonna get the sharpest image. The next tip that I have for you guys, when you're shooting sports, you wanna make sure you get that right moment. So you wanna set your camera to take as many photos at once as possible. For example, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I mean. Um, so on my camera, I have several settings. I can set my camera to single shot, where it only takes one photo, but I can also set my camera to shoot at a rapid rate. So. That just makes sure that you can capture as many photos in a small time frame as possible. Now this is a 70 Mark II, so this is what I use for all my sporting events. It can actually take quite a few photos per second, and that's uh, that's what I need when I'm trying to get, when I have the players on the sideline and I want to capture that perfect moment, I'm like, and I get the perfect image. So that is tip number two. And finally, the third tip, the final tip, is try to set your aperture above f4. Like let's, for soccer for example, you have like 22 players on the field. You don't want one player to be completely in frame and the next one right behind him to be completely blurry. Sometimes when I'm photographing events and I want to take a more stylistic approach, I want one player to be focused and the one right behind him to be completely blurry, I will take my f-stop down to 2.8. I don't usually take it under 2.8 because any slight movement will put my subject out of focus and you know, a lot of your photos are not gonna be sharp. So 2.8 is usually the lowest that I will take my f-stop when shooting sporting events. Now usually I don't take that above f8 just because I do want to be able to maintain a high shutter speed and you know if I have my f-stop at you know f, f, f18, f16, I'm not gonna be able to keep a high shutter speed without bumping up my ISO and bringing noise into the image. So uh, typically, typically a good rule is f4 to f8 when shooting sporting events, but if you do want to take a more stylistic approach, go ahead and try to drop it down to f2.8 and see what kind of results that gets you. Guys, those are the three tips for today. I hope you guys find this helpful. Let me know if you do. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions for next week, if you have anything that you're having a hard time with, photography, videography, design, anything you guys want to know, go ahead and drop those questions into the comments below and I will get to them next week. Yeah, thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and like and subscribe. I have nothing more to say today, so I will see you next week, guys. And I hope you have a fabulous day.